because the biggest problem with the risky tenant base, y'all, is the rent's not going to get paid on time, right? Uh, but the government takes care of that for you, takes it off your plate, right? Uh, but when you go into a neighborhood like this one, uh, where it's more desirable to live, you get more higher quality tenants uh, that have, you know, jobs and uh, decent income, decent credit, things of that nature, good work history, good tenant history. Uh, they want to live in places like this, right? It's more of a draw, the location. They want to live there. Uh, and of course, the rents are going to go up and the quality of the tenants is going to go up. And you don't really need to rely uh, on dealing with Section 8 in the Section 8 program. Thank you. It's actually clean. So. Whoa, it's empty. Well, it was definitely just freshly painted, so that's cool. Garage is probably locked. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all, we got a turnkey deal on the west side of Cleveland uh, that's going to blow past the 1% rule, right? Check this one out. 4082 West 140th, Cleveland, okay? Coming to you at 124.9. And this sucker, folks, has got a market rent of $1,500, right? If we're talking about buying it at the 1% rule, right? That means you buy this thing at about 150, you're probably going to make money, right? I'm sure a lot of you've heard of the 1% rule, right? Well, we're doing you about $25,000 better than that, right? 1500 man. We've seen incredible rent growth in the Cleveland market over the last few years. And this part of Cleveland has always been one of the more highly desirable neighborhoods, uh, one of the more solid tenant bases, right? These far west side neighborhoods over here, uh, pretty darn close to Cam's Corner. Uh, very desirable, right? So for this particular neighborhood, I mean, if you wanted to, you can get a decent amount of Section 8 tenants over there, but I would say you're probably better off going with the cash paying tenants, right? I tell you guys, when you're in more risky neighborhoods, we're actually collecting the rent uh, consistently it is a very difficult thing to do. I, I, I lean towards going with the Section 8 tenants, right? Because, you know, when you're in a riskier neighborhood, all of your tenants, uh, your your entire tenant base is inherently risky, right? So the Section 8 tenants pose uh, a smaller risk in that situation to you because the biggest problem with the risky tenant base, y'all, is the rent's not going to get paid on time, right? Uh, but the government takes care of that for you, takes it off your plate, right? Uh, but when you go into a neighborhood like this one, uh, where it's more desirable to live, you get more higher quality tenants uh, that have, you know, jobs and uh, decent income, decent credit, things of that nature, good work history, good tenant history. Uh, they want to live in places like this, right? It's more of a draw, the location. They want to live there. Uh, and, of course, the rents are going to go up and the quality of the tenants is going to go up. And you don't really need to rely uh, on dealing with Section 8 and the Section 8 program, things of that nature, right? So I'd probably go cash paying tenants for a nice $1,500 rental here. As you see, as you see, everything has been renovated by the seller. They've put this thing completely together. All you need to do here uh, is get in. Change your locks and put some tenants in there. Get ready to rock and roll. It hasn't been lead certified, uh, but we're just going to need to go through that process. More information on that process is going to be in the notes uh, below this video. Being that it's just freshly renovated like this, I don't see any peeling or scraping paint anywhere. So uh, it should be just some bureaucratic uh, this or that, right? We got to get through the bureaucratic nonsense and the red tape, but you're not going to be getting like a large reno bill here. In my opinion, I don't see how that'd be possible. This thing is fresh, clean, crisp, ready to rock and roll. Solid, safe, stable, turnkey investment. If you guys are interested in this, shoot your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You can pay cash, but I recommend you finance. I don't know why you'd want to pay cash when you can get somebody to put in three-fourths of the pie while you only put in one-fourth of the pie. Plus, you get the additional benefit of that appraisal, right? If you're coming from out of state into the Cleveland market, you don't want to overpay. You don't want to pay $125,000 for a house that's only worth $100,000, do you? Well, the bank ain't going to let you lose their money, y'all. So a good, safe way 
to protect yourself as turnkey investors is to always get an appraisal. And guess what? You don't get a loan. You don't get a mortgage from the bank without an appraisal because they're putting in more money than you are and they ain't letting you lose their money. Even if you don't know dick about the Cleveland market, they're making sure their money don't get lost, right? So cash offers are cool. Financed offers make more sense for you. They're safer and you stretch your dollar even further. Also, if you'd like to personally tour this property before putting in those offers, that's cool too. Just hit up the team, sales at holtonweiss.com. We will get you in for your own personalized private tour. Let's roll. Look at this, we're on here filming. Code don't work. What are we gonna don't do? Don't work, bro. I was gonna say, show them the code. I don't know if we should do that. Let's break in. Alright, no, I'm gonna start down here. I'll just get the outside real quick. Yeah, it's fine. 4082 West 140th. Right down there by the classic Franks. Big tree. Yeah, dude, all the kids have got out of school at like 1.30. Marshall, they only go to like half days. Garage is probably locked. Yo! Ski ball table. What? Freaking score. Thank you. It's actually clean, so. Whoa, it's empty. I'm a one-man film crew here, bro. <laughs> I do it all. Well, it was definitely just freshly painted, so that's cool. Uh, get the particulars down here. Huh, light was already on. How about that? Not bad down here. Oh, there's a shitter down here. That can maybe use a little. That's me. Hot water tank. Oh, there was. Oh, there is a full bath down here. That's cool. Got some packs. I mean, it's weird that the sink is right next to the gas meter. But I guess it's cool. Some, some people like different stuff. Whoops. All right. Now I got to put you guys down. Thank you for joining me in my experience. Photo. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.